Beautiful people. So God wants me to speak about the story of talents. I've done this before, maybe two years ago, but this is what he wants me to speak about concerning the destiny, abilities, and talents, killers, stealers, destroyers, and exchangers. All right, and what he's going to do to these people at the end if they don't repent and get into their own destiny because he gave every single person a destiny and a talent and their ability and these people who have been in people's destinies they didn't have the ability to carry out the things that these people's destiny God gave them and put in them to carry out you know they like they put that chip in you God never put that chip in them to do what you you do and if they even stole it, exchanged it for a time, they can't. They couldn't do what you do. They couldn't. They, they didn't have the ability to do it. All right. God won't give you more than you can bear, as you can see. Now the goals. We're gonna get into the story of talents. That's in the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-five. I'm starting at verse fourteen. For the kingdom of heaven is is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods and unto one he gave five talents he gave five talents to another two and another one to every man according to his several ability so this man because of his ability he got five talents because the other one according to his ability your knowledge wisdom and understanding and what you're capable of doing he gave the other one two According to that person's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and their experience, this is about knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and experience. That's why one got five talents, the other got two talents, and the other got one talent. To every man, according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Now we're going to go to ability. As in Acts 11 and 29. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, God doesn't just give people... People want people's destinies, talents, and abilities, but they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the experience to help others with these things or to succeed the way that they're supposed to prosper because they're not in their own destiny. They're not in their own talents, and they don't have the several ability to what God created for that person. Everybody's made uniquely. Now, even the disciples had every man according to his ability determined to send relief onto the brethren which in Judea. Now even we can go to Daniel with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. No. The, Matthew 25 and 15. This is, we're going back to the story of talents because God wants me to read the whole thing to you and explain it as I go. And unto one he gave five talents, the other two and another one, to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey. Now even every work that you have is can you get a job if you don't have the ability and the skills to get that job now Ezra 2 and 69 they gave after their ability onto the treasure of the work three scores and 1,000 jams of gold because of the ability of their work what you can you work in something if you don't have the knowledge wisdom understanding experience and the skills to do it the person who got one talent is because he only had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the experience to gain one talent. That was his several ability. That is what he could manage. To your ability. Now, 1 Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. And if any man can minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. That God in all things may be glorified through Christ, to whom we praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. God gave us an ability. To, now, he wants you to understand this is how this is going with this judgment and punishment. God's going to ask these people, what did you do with your talent that I gave you? What did you do in the earth with the talent that I gave you? What did you do for my kingdom with the talent that I gave you? Whether I gave you one talent, what did you do with it? Did you did you get not in experience so you can get more talents and add on to the talents? Let's keep going. And unto one he gave five talents, okay, and and unto the other two, and every man according to his several ability, and he gave one, right? And then 
he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents he learned this one got he, he traded he used his knowledge wisdom and understanding he gained five more talents and likewise, he that had two also gained two more talents. He gained two more talents from the talents that he already had. He wasn't a slothful and a lazy servant. He wasn't unprofitable to the kingdom. He wasn't unprofitable. This is a story that's supposed to make you understand. When people don't use their talents of God, and, and even the people who stole other people's talents, they weren't in their talent at all. They don't even know it. And what God's going to do to them. Now, let's keep going. But he that received one went and digged it in the earth. These are the people who never walked in their talent. They never did use their talent that God gave them. They were using other people's talent. They didn't do nothing with the talent that God gave them. Whether it be one, whether it be two, whether it be five. They never seek God to know what they were talented in and what their several ability was. Now, this is them. But he that had received one went and digged it in the earth. And hid his Lord's money. He hid his talent in the earth. He didn't do nothing for the kingdom. He didn't do nothing with the talent that's supposed to make him rich. He didn't do nothing with the talent that God giveth him. They took talents from Satan that Satan stole from the righteous. After a long time, the Lord of those servants comes and reckons with him. So God's going to come and reckon with you. And he's going to ask you, what did you do with your talent that I gave you? What did you do for my kingdom? Christ is going to ask you. And, and so he that had received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. Oh, what did you do with the talent I gave you? Look what I did and look what I learned. Look what I experienced. I gained five more talents. His Lord said unto him, well done thou good and faithful servant this is like the kingdom thou has been faithful over a few things i will make thee ruler over many things enter thou into the joy of the lord now let's keep going he also that had received two talents came and said lord thou deliverest unto me two talents behold i have gained two other talents besides them his lord said unto him well done good and faithful servant Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. This enter thou into the joy of the Lord. So the one who got five talents, he gained five more. He has ten talents. The one who got, and, he, and God told him to enter into the joy of the Lord. He's been faithful to what he gave them. What he, what he gave him to his several ability to do, he was faithful in it. The one who gave two talents, he came back with two more. He was faithful. What did God say to him too? Thou he says, Thou hast delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful for over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. So the one with five talents gained five more the God and, and went into the joy of the Lord. The one with two talents gained two more, went into the joy of the Lord. Then... This is these wicked, slothful, grudging people, envious, jealous, and don't watch in other people's destiny, watching other people's talents, and up till now not walking in their own destiny and their own talents and their several ability. They that they they have the ability to do, but they're not doing it. This is them. This is these grudgeful, wicked family, wicked friends, wicked people, wicked celebrities. Then he which had received one talent came and said, Lord. I knew thee that thou art a, a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawn. And I was afraid, and went and hid the talent in the earth. Pe they were afraid of what people would think of them. They were afraid to do the will of God. They were afraid of walking in their own destiny and their talent because of what people would think about them doing the work of God. They wanted, they wanted to reap where they didn't sow. But look what he says to him. Look what he says to the king. He says, I was afraid. Remember, the fearful and the unbelieving cast them into the lake of fire. He says he was afraid and went and hid his talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast, that is thine. 
His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and softful servant. Doesn't God tell you, don't be afraid? Don't be fearful? Be not dismayed? Doesn't God tell you that? Didn't God tell you, didn't Christ tell you the fearful and the unbelieving? A weeping and the gnashing of teeth? We're going to get there because he wants me to go to a weeping and the gnashing of teeth. This is these wicked people. He says, his Lord says, thou wicked and softful servant. They were wicked and they were lazy. They didn't want to do what they were supposed to do. Servant. Thou knews I reap where I did not sow and gather where I have not strawn. Thou oughtst there have, therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. That, that, and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him. Since you didn't use your talent, God's going to take your talent from you. And give it on to him that has ten talents. Because the one with ten talent, ten, the one who had five talents, he gained five more, which is ten. And, and he knew what to do with it. He has the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the experience to even take this man's one talent. And he would have did something great for his king with his talent. Not that, not, what did these people do? God's going to be taking away talents from people. Because they didn't do nothing with it. They hid it in the earth. They didn't do the work of God. They didn't want his talent. They never used it. For unto everyone that has shall be given. And he that has abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away. Even that which he has. And cast ye this unprofitable servant in the utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This, you see what's going to happen. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the, the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, and as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. The sheep from the goats. Do you get what's happening here? And he shall set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And read the rest. I'm not going to go into all of that because the weeping and gnashing of teeth cast into the other darkness. And you cast this unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where's weeping and gnashing of teeth? Matthew 13 and 42. And he shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 8 and 12. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into other darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, he's a hypocrite. Matthew 24 and 51. And he shall cut him asunder, appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Luke 13 and 38. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets and the kingdom of God and you yourself thrust out. Why? You're a hypocrite. You didn't do the work of the Lord. You didn't use your talent unprofitable servant outer darkness you're going to see the kingdom but you're not going to go in it cast out into other darkness now what else is going to happen Matthew 22 and 13 then the king then said the king to the servants bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into other darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth but this is envious and jealous people. Matthew 6 and 23. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore thy light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? These people, they, the, now 1 John 2 and 11. This is your family, your brother and sister who hate you for your destiny, your talent, and your ability. But he that hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and knows not where he goes because that darkness has blinded his eyes. That's why they do all kind of wicked stuff to their brother and sister because they hate them and they walk in darkness. And God won't give you more than your several ability. Now the children in whom was no blemish, this is in Daniel 1 and 4, 
but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace so did, does a king just get any little any person who's unwise to say come sit at the king's palace no he gets someone skillful with the ability in them to stand in the king's palace so a lot of these people wanted positions they've been in positions that they weren't skillful in and they never had the ability to be in and they weren't destined to be in and god's taken away all these positions you know that he bring he he, he takes down one and sets up another this is what's going on because he's making all crooked things straight this place is crooked the people who are actually the losers are looking like the winners and the winners are looking like the losers and he's making every crook thing straight and these people are under judgment for what they've done and even in Nehemiah talks about ability Nehemiah 5 and 8 and I said unto them we after our ability have redeemed our brethren the Jews which were sold unto the heathen what to their ability they did it to their ability to their ability to work their ability to stand and be in a position before the king and work for the king. The, even the disciples had different abilities. They never all had the same ability. Remember, Paul was to speak the, unto the Gentiles. Do, do, do you understand? People can't... God won't give you more than your several ability, even with the servants. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. But these people want an ability that they can't manage. These people want a destiny that they're not destined for. And up until now, they haven't been walking in their destiny. And they've buried their talent in the earth. And he's going to say, into outer darkness, bind them hand and foot. I hope this opened up your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And um, you understand the judgment, the punishment and that's gone out from God upon these people. And that he, he's dethroning. He is taken away. They're not going to have what's not theirs because it's not theirs in the first place. And they need to go heal. And they need to go repent. If they don't repent, you, get, you understand what's going to happen to them. They're going to be cast into other darkness because they still never use their talent and their ability. And they're not walking in their destiny. They still they don't have their story. As we said, Jack has a beanstalk story. Sinbad the sailor has, has the seven seas story. But what is their story? What is their story? They still haven't been walking in their destiny to have their story. Everybody wants a fairy tale story, but ain't nobody walking in their story that, that's not walking with God. Because all these stories came from God and are about God's children who already who are walking in their destiny. Stay blessed, beautiful people. Take this up with not with fasting, and I hope this enlightened you and gave you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you need concerning this matter. So destiny, talent, ability, killers, stealers, and destroyers, exchangers, blockers, stoppers, hinders, delayers are being judged, and the people's masks are falling off.